Whether it's Jaws, the Megalodon, or a raging Sharknado heading straight toward us, us humans have no shortage of cinematic shockers that warn us of the dangers of the deep blue sea. However, as with many things, no matter of CGI or special effects can go tooth to tooth with the real deal. And this next load of terrifying creatures that cause the ocean their home are the stuff that nightmares are made out of. From 10-foot worms that burrow into the seafloor to some of the most venomous fish on the planet, here's 15 dangerous ocean creatures that you should never touch. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Missing Files, and click the notification bell for the best daily videos. Giant Monkfish for the gourmands among us, monkfish is a dang tasty fish, and it's a variety that often features in some high-class restaurants as their catch of the day. Sure, they're hella ugly, but they taste phenomenal, so you may be wondering, why would they be washing up on this dangerous ocean creatures list? Well, just take a look at this image, and you'll see exactly why. While most varieties of monkfish are relatively small, the giant monkfish can often reach over 5 feet in length, and in some cases, even more. When you consider their colossal heads are packed with rows and rows of razor-sharp teeth that act as a vice when they clamp down on their prey, the giant monkfish may be far more dangerous than it first appears. Given the fact that these beasts of the ocean also have a habit of hiding in the camouflage of seaweed and dark plant life beneath the water, and then pounce on the next thing that floats past, it's no wonder that they've gained a reputation as a surprisingly dangerous adversary for human scuba divers. Just take a look at this astonishing footage of a Russian scuba diver who came face to face with an angry and aggressive giant monkfish. As the monkfish bites down on the diver's hand, his entire arm is stuck inside of its vice-like grip, and he's lucky to have made an escape. So yeah, if the ocean wasn't already terrifying enough, giant monkfish! Hey, we're pretty glad they're on the menu. Emma, the hungry moray eel. On the subject of scuba divers, there's another slippery ocean creature that has gained a reputation for their relationships with humans beneath the water. In some cases, many varieties of eel are actually playful and intelligent creatures, particularly the wolf eel, who will often seek out scuba divers to play with and get their belly rubbed. However, while some eels are indeed friendly, the moray eel in particular is incredibly dangerous, especially when they're hungry, as this unfortunate scuba diver found out in Thailand several years ago. Back in 2018, an Australian diving instructor attempted to feed a moray eel off the coast of the Similan Islands when the animal grabbed his thumb so viciously that he couldn't shake it off. However, little did he know, moray eels have a bizarrely efficient jaw that features a second mechanism, almost like the xenomorph from Alien. And before he knew it, the eel had dismembered the diver's thumb and completely devoured it. Yeah, you heard that correctly. You see, a moray eel doesn't just swallow its prey. While its outer jaws are attached around its victim, the second jaw mechanism shoots forward from its throat to pull the prey in at once. So when an instant, this diving instructor's thumb was gone, and there was nothing he could do about it. However, there is a rather bizarre ending to this gory story. After the diver was rushed to the hospital, doctors managed to reattach his big toe as a brand new thumb. Crazy. <laughs> the Flower Urchin Sure, this next entry may seem beautiful from a distance, but don't ever touch this disguised devil, because you'd be facing down one of the most venomous sea urchins in the world. While many people are led to believe that the fire urchin is the most toxic deep sea plant on the planet, which makes sense given its name, the real deal doesn't come with any kind of warning label. Thankfully for us, scientists decided to name the deadliest sea urchin on the planet as the flower urchin. Uh, thanks science. Maybe they could have called it the painful death urchin, or even even the super toxic urchin? Anything but the flower urchin. Found in the waters of Thailand, the flower urchin is covered in small, colorful appendages, which make up the flowers where it gets its name. These petals certainly seem beautiful on the surface, but each one of them has a tiny hook that houses the urchin's venom, and they're all strong enough to pierce human skin too. Although there's been no officially substantiated deaths from the flower urchin, it's been the suspect in some drowning cases, and the symptoms are said to induce dizziness, paralysis, respiration difficulty, and severe pain. So if you've ever scuba dived off the coast of Thailand, beware the flower urchin. Yeah, they really need to change that name. 
box jellyfish. All right, you've definitely been waiting patiently for this one because the truth is the box jellyfish is probably one of the most feared creatures in the ocean. And yeah, we're including the ancient megalodon on that list. The truth is many people shouldn't need a warning not to touch this creature, given the fact that health and safety guidelines have been strictly enforced around the waters that these jellyfish often frequent. And by sheer venom potency alone, the dangers of the box jellyfish are clearly apparent. However, considering the fact that they're also found pretty much anywhere from Australia to Thailand and commonly occur throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans, the chances are pretty high for people who live in the Southern Hemisphere. The infamous box jellyfish developed its frighteningly powerful venom to instantly stun or kill its prey like fish and shrimp so that their struggle to escape wouldn't damage its delicate tentacles. Their venom alone is considered to be among the most deadly in the world and its toxins attack the heart, the nervous system, and skin cells simultaneously. The box jellyfish's venom is so overwhelmingly painful that human victims have been known to go into shock and die of heart failure before reaching the shore. The box jellyfish is the real deal, and you should avoid it at all costs. <laughs> the bobbit worm. Okay, sure, you may have already thought that several of the creatures on this list are the stuff of nightmares, and yeah, well, they are. But seriously, you haven't seen anything yet because the bobbit worm is ready to latch its horrifying jaws around us and eat us alive. Seriously, this thing is supremely terrifying. If you have a fear of the things that lurk at the bottom of the ocean, the bobbit worm may very well be all of those fears rolled into one. On the surface, this creature may just look like some small and unassuming Bug. But deep beneath the ocean bed, the true extent of this unspeakable horror lies waiting. Believe it or not, but the bobbit worm is believed to be one of the ocean's top predators, hunting its prey by digging itself deep into the seafloor, exposing just a few inches of its body while the other 10 feet of its body burrows beneath. Using its five distinct antenna, the bobbit worm senses its passing prey and then savagely snaps down on them with its muscular jaws, known as a pharynx. The bobbit worm strikes with such speed and strength that it can split a fish clean in two, where it then pulls its victim's corpse down into the worm's burrow where it feasts on its remains like the nightmarish monster that it is. Seriously, if you're a budding screenwriter looking for the next big horror monster, the bobbit worm is exactly that. You can thank us later. <laughs> The Portuguese Man of War. For those of you that have seen James Bond's most recent cinematic saga starring Daniel Craig, then this next horrifying creature may appear frighteningly similar. The truth is, it's probably the most perfect predator that an evil genius could keep in a fish tank. After all, sharks are so last season, right? You may not know this, but although this creature may seem like some sort of terrifying jellyfish, it's actually a siphonophore, a bizarre collection of several animals that work symbiotically to produce the appearance of one living entity. Inside these animals, there are colonies made up of hundreds and even thousands of genetically identical individual creatures. The Portuguese man of war begins life as a single fertilized egg, but as it develops, it begins to bud into its distinctive structures and organisms. These organisms, known as polyps or zooids, can't survive on their own, so they must merge together into a terrifying tentacled mass. Often found in the Atlantic, this bizarre creature can also occur in warmer parts parts of the Pacific, the Caribbean, the Indian Ocean, and of course, the Atlantic. While the odds of being killed by a Portuguese man of war are pretty slim, in some cases, their sting can be frighteningly fatal, causing their victims to suffer complete cardiovascular collapse. <laughs> Stonefish. When you're wading through shallow shores and rock pools, if there's any a reason that you should wear reef shoes, then it's this terrifying monstrosity of a fish. Seriously, if you were ever unfortunate enough to tread on this venomous landmine, the odds of survival are pretty darn slim, and because of that, the stonefish is considered to be one of the most deadly animals in the ocean by many marine enthusiasts. The thing is, in the ocean, these creatures aren't exactly a clear and present danger, because it's on the coastline where they exclude exclusively assault their prey. Let's not beat around the bush. The venom that's produced by the stonefish is some of the most potent venom on the planet and is especially fatal to humans. For a complete recovery, a sufficient amount of anti-venom is required to quickly reverse the effects. But sadly, without the correct medical facilities, the stonefish is often a death sentence. The venom begins with excruciating pain and swelling, and the symptoms then rapidly develop into paralysis, tissue necrosis, and even complete heart failure. Given the fact that the stonefish is in 
encrusted in brown or gray skin with orange and red patches, it has the capability to camouflage itself almost perfectly into the surrounding environment, where it strikes before being noticed. As a rule, stonefish are almost exclusively found in Australia, just another addition to the continent's never-ending list of deadly animals that can kill you. <laughs> Banded sea krites. Sure, most species of snake are pretty terrifying on land, but in the ocean? Dang, these things are the stuff of nightmares. And believe it or not, but the banded sea krite is deadly on both land and sea. Also known as a black ringed sea snake, these seafaring species of snake are endemic to most of Asia and Australia, and they're distinguished by their bizarre paddle like tail, which allows them to efficiently move through the water to hunt down their prey. Unlike most sea snakes, which spend almost all of their time underwater, the krite is often found on land, where they return to digest their prey, rest, and reproduce. In general, most males grow up to 35 inches in length, and the females are sufficiently larger, some of which have been found over 6 feet in length. Tragically, back in 2018, a 23-year-old British man was bitten by a banded sea krite that had been entangled in a fishing net and later fatally succumbed to the venom. Given their remote proximity and unusual environment, a bite from a banded sea krite can often be fatal. <laughs> Indonesian needlefish. Given the fact that they're shaped like mini harpoons and often fly out of the water at incredible high speeds like terrifying projectiles of Poseidon, the Indonesian needlefish has certainly earned its title. As you may imagine, the needlefish is a small, slender creature with a razor-sharp nose that allows it to glide through the water at high speeds. Primarily found in Asia and the South Pacific, while it's a rare occurrence, these creatures can actually result in horrifying injuries, and in some cases, even death. Back in January 2020, a 16-year-old teenager was out fishing in a small boat with his friend when a needlefish suddenly jumped out from the water and impaled itself into the boy's neck. About a third of a mile away from the shoreline, the teenager was horrified to discover that the fish's long, slender, and sharp jaws had pierced right through his neck from just under his chin to the base of his skull. What's more, the needlefish was still alive and thrashing, and the teenager was forced to hold the creature still while he and his companion swam to shore for aid. Incredibly, the boy survived, and doctors were able to remove the fish during an hour-long surgery, the first of its kind in recorded history. Incredible, but also terrifying. <laughs> Cone shell sea snail. Okay, you may not have expected a snail to have featured on this list of dangerous ocean creatures, but believe it or not, the cone shell sea snail is one of the most venomous ocean creatures on the planet. Amazingly, the cone shell sea snail doesn't produce toxin or venom, but instead it utilizes a potent form of insulin to subdue its prey. Also known as the geographic cone snail, this deadly creature uses the chemical to cause a plunge in its victim's blood sugar levels, leaving it sluggish and unable to escape. Although it may not look it, this snail can actually entrap whole schools of small fish in this way. Despite its appearance, the cone shell sea snail is one of the most venomous creatures on earth and has been known to have killed dozens of people in accidental encounters. It hunts in two ways, by either releasing toxins into the water and by firing a terrifying harpoon poison-tipped tooth into its prey. If that wasn't horrifying enough, no antidote currently exists for a cone snail sting and a single bite is almost always fatal to humans. The Titan Triggerfish With a name like the Triggerfish, you can bet that this thing packs a punch. If you're ever diving into the Indo-Pacific region, especially the coral reefs of Australia, Fiji, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, and the Maldives, then you may want to keep an eye out for this horrifying feisty fish as it's been known to pack a mean bite and has even resulted in several scuba divers losing their ears in the process. Yeah, you heard that right. While only known to be aggressive and territorial during their reproductive season, the Titan Triggerfish will guard its nest with its life, and if an unassuming diver accidentally stumbles upon its territory, they will assault the assailant with incredible ferocity. While they may look pretty docile on the surface, it's pretty much a given in scuba diving circles to avoid their nest during April and May, and in some cases, staying out of the water altogether. Sure, scuba diving is fun, but it's not worth losing an ear. 
blue ringed octopus. Okay, you've probably seen this seemingly cute and squidgy little fella before. Sure, on the surface, this guy looks like something straight from a Pixar movie, but you'd be astonished to believe that pound for pound, the blue ringed octopus is actually one of the most venomous creatures on the entire planet. Despite being tiny, this cephalopod packs a lethal sting, and to ensure your survival, keeping this little guy calm and relaxed is of utmost importance. Characterized by its namesake, the blue and black rings of the cephalopod only ever appear when the creature feels threatened. Seemingly harmless on the surface, the blue ringed octopus possesses a highly venomous neurotoxin that it secretes through its salivary glands when facing down a potential predator, humans included. This toxin is over a thousand times more deadly than cyanide, and just one tiny blue ringed octopus contains enough poisonous liquid to mean certain death for up to 26 people. If that's not reason to avoid this creature already, many unassuming scuba divers may not even realize that they've been stung by this tiny cephalopod before the crippling paralysis sets in. While technically all octopuses and cuttlefish are venomous sea creatures, the blue ringed octopus is certainly among the deadliest. It's tiny, but it packs a lethal punch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> surgeon fish. Sure, while it may sound like this is a creature that could save your life, as you may imagine, it's quite the opposite. Alongside the appropriately named unicorn fish, the surgeon fish and its close cousin both sport gruesome spines and agonizingly sharp and bony blades at its sides, which they both get their name from. These scalpel-like weapons can cause severe injuries, and they strike with surgical accuracy. While all members of the surgeon fish and unicorn fish family are technically herbivores, these razor-sharp fish are potentially dangerous to humans, particularly scuba divers who get a little too close to these otherwise beautiful-looking animals. They may look like something straight from a movie, but they cut like a razor-sharp knife, and in rare cases, the surgeon fish can be fatal. Yikes! <laughs> Fire coral. For surfers and scuba divers alike, coral reefs are a source of both incredible beauty and immediate danger. If you're ever unfortunate enough to get caught in a riptide and end up colliding with coral, you're unfortunately in for a world of pain. You'd be even more unfortunate if you were to collide with the fire coral, which interestingly isn't actually coral and also doesn't exhibit any fire-like qualities. However, what it does do is inflict a red-hot burn upon whoever is unlucky enough to come into contact with it. And because fire coral exists in the vast majority of the world's major oceans, surfers and swimmers are no strangers to feeling its burn. Mainly found growing on reefs in warm tropical saltwater environments, including the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans, fire coral is essentially a skeleton filled with tiny polyps that contain tiny nematocysts, which release a neurotoxin into both prey and predators. While it looks beautiful, you should avoid touching fire coral at all costs, as you'll be in for a world of hurt. Pufferfish. And finally, perhaps one of the most instantly recognizable dangerous ocean creatures of all time, it has to be the pufferfish. For sushi enthusiasts across the planet, the pufferfish is a source of great prestige particularly for those who think they're capable of fully preparing this deadly creature, which, you know, would require removing the deadly part. Amazingly, the meat of some pufferfish is considered to be a delicacy, called fugu in Japan. Given the fact that almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a substance that is incredibly dangerous to humans and up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, it can only be prepared by the most capable of chefs. There is enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote for it either. Worth the risk? Uh, we're not so sure. Well, there we have it. 15 of the most dangerous ocean creatures that you should never touch. Seriously, please avoid them at all costs. Thanks for sticking around till the end, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.